Called the Kiefer Classic. Let me read you some information. Yeah. I, I'd hate for this to turn out dry. Right. What happened to your face? Right. Your beard. Where's oh, your beard? yeah, my Christmas shave. Yeah. Christmas, that's not a tradition. It's a tradition in my house, in my face. You should. <laughs> <laughs> You're on night now, goddamn. Uh, Just shave on Christmas. It's look a little different. Yeah, you look like. Weird face. Well, I don't look like weird face. I just got You look little, exactly like weird I face. I get a little, little goat thing going on there. It's all right. Looks good. All right. What are we doing here? Just do it. I, I, I think we're done. Oh, no. Wrestling. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Red State Update. Today, we're going to talk about wrestling. Wrestling. That's right. We did a bunch of old Christmas stuff. Yeah. And it used to do politics stuff. Yeah. And now we're going to do wrestling, wrestling stuff. Wrestling stuff. Yes, we're going to do wrestling. We're moving. We're just going to do wrestling commentary from now on. That's right. And if everybody wants us to come do some commentary for us. If you run in a wrestling federation and you got an air fair, we will come be in your wrestling federation. That's right. And yeah. you know, some per diem. Right. I'll show you a little, give you a little sample here, like wrestling going on. Watch this right. Look out! There you go. I don't know all the names right now, but I'd study it. Before I did it, I'd say so and so. Look out! You got Vordell Walker versus Bobby Sanford. Yeah. I'm looking at the flyer right here. Vordell Walker, he looks like a tough guy. Yeah. Has an undecipherable tattoo on his arm. I so. always think tattoos look trashy on people, but they look all right on wrestlers. If I was running wrestling federation, what I'd do, I'd put you in a wheelchair, call you the old man, like right. you run it. Like, the old man's coming, I wheel you out and just have people slap you. Hey. Like Linda McMahon. That'd all be right. Awesome. Ain't nobody gonna slap me. I'm, no, uh -uh. I ain't doing that. It's, if you take slapping out of wrestling, that's like I ain't gonna wrestling. get up there and wrestle. I'll talk about it, but I ain't gonna get in the ring wrestling. I'm too damn old for that. We would be like the, the, the Jimmy Hart's. We'd come out there, we'd just be yelling. I'd have like a clipboard. Yeah. Maybe like with rhinestones on it and glitter, like a glitter board, they call right. me. Here comes his manager, Glitter Board. Glitter Board. Oh, he's really got the crowd riled up. That sounds like the worst wrestling character I ever heard in my life. I just check, like, you're not you're not wrestling good enough. And then, you know, the, my wrestlers always turn on me. Yeah. First I hit the good guy, and then the bad guy gets so mad at me, he turns on me too. Yeah. And old Coco Beware. Yeah. yeah, he's a good one. He got a bird on him. Yeah, like a hippopotamus. Yeah. I don't see any girl wrestlers on here. No girl wrestlers. Where's well, all the that's foxy? Because it's real damn wrestling, that's why. Where's all, so are you saying girls ain't real wrestlers? Yeah. I think Stacy Keebler would disagree with you. Do I have to say that out loud? I know exactly what I would do on my first appearance. I'd come down or I'd be a bad guy. I'd come down and get the audience all mad at me. Yeah. Everybody yelling and hollering. A couple minutes, when everybody's really mad, I'd turn face. And then people will be like, oh, he's a good guy. And then all the bad guys come out ah, kicking me and, and hitting me because they feel betrayed. Then I'd turn heel again. Then I'd be leaving the ring and I'd turn face, go out in the lobby, turn heel, and getting in my car, I'd turn just sort of in the middle, middle of the road. Complicated, can't figure me out. Why? Peter got mad at Junkyard Dog because they just heard the name and thought they had a dog See? in there. Pitiful. Now, he had the best song on the wrestling album. Maybe we can write a cartoon for the Super Patriot. Well, I doubt if he won't be involved after you called him out there. Well, why don't you dress like a Super Patriot? Well, Super why Patriot? you want to do a cartoon for him? I just like calling out wrestlers from the safety of YouTube. Yeah, right. Listen here, Super Patriot. You think you're so high and mighty with your stars on your mask right. and your street clothes like you're going to Lowe's. And you have the audacity to call yourself a super patriot? Take a gander at this. What do you see here? This looks like a super patriot right. to me. Yeah. Maybe I want my name back. <laughs> what, that a coffin wrestler? <laughs> what are you coughing for? Uh, I gotta take some G2. What? Hurt your throat. Day two. Wrestling. They have a special celebrity ring announcer, Knox, from X101.5. Yeah. I'd say if there was anybody I could beat up, it's probably him. Oh, you think you're the best All DJ right. in Florida, don't you? Playing the hits from coast to coast All with right. the most the most. All right. Maybe you just back me up. I mean back you up. Everybody out there better come on down to the Kiefer Classic 2011. Yeah. 
What that's not you gotta get into it a little bit, boy. All right, you do it again. I that try to I ain't no wrestler. I don't know how to Everybody out there who doubts that I can become the world champion yeah. needs to look no yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm you do it and I'll say yeah to you. Everybody, hang on now. I'm gonna whoop you. Wrestling. I'll get you in the ring, and there'll be two of us going in, and then me coming out. 